What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're going to talk about the airflow of our 12 GPU rig. This is an Ethereum rig. It's a variety of 1060s, uh, 1080s, and then 1660 Ti's. So let me go ahead and show you a little bit on this rig here. Uh, so we're running the ASRock H110 Pro motherboard back in there. Now we have a 1200 watt HP power supply. We have a GPU riser, 64 uh, gigabyte solid state drive. And we have a 550 watt ATX power supply. And that has, or 750 watt, and that powers the motherboard. And then also these two 1080s right here. So, um, that being said, one of the challenges that I'm having is I've been having this fan, it's off right now, moved right in front of the doorway and on uh, low or medium, blowing air up onto this rig. And it's worked out great. But the challenge is the second that that fan is off, I start to get a bunch of these cards start overheating. It just gets too hot right here. Um, now it is a warmer day in Pennsylvania right now. Uh, it's about mid 70s and we are sucking in air from up there and then also over there sucking in air into this room. So without this fan on right now, you guys can see it's 96 right here. It's 97 right here. Oh, as I drop that, that's not good. And it's 108 right here and 127 sitting right on now this is now this is a, a rear facing the, the um, uh, 1080 founders edition and so the hot air just blows right out the back of that uh, but that being said this, this the temperatures aren't healthy for the card uh, if I go ahead and look over here at uh, Hive OS let me refresh this you can see without that fan on I got a 1080 that Nvidia 1080 Founders Edition, 73. We look down here, we got a 75 and a 74 on another 1080, a PNY 1080, and then an EVGA 1060. So what I wanna do is, I wanna blow air in two ways off of this. So the way my room is designed is up top here. We have an exhaust duct, an exhaust duct, and then we have a real small one and a real small one over there. We got some passive intake over here. There's some passive intake over there. Those are gonna be upgrading to six inch here in the next few weeks. But anyways, I wanna blow some air over these cards because it seems like that's the solution to go. But do I blow the air this way across the card or do I blow or I suck the air that way? So on the back of this AAA wave frame, you can see there's actually holes for the fan, the, the fans here, and we can do two rows of them. And AAA wave went ahead and sent me these these are the Arctic P12, 120 millimeter fans. And let's see, CFM is 56.3. So I need to determine, do I blow the air this way? And then the air goes from the back of the rig forward and then it kind of has suction upward? Or do I blow the air from the rear that way, kind of sucking the air away from the cards? I'm thinking I blow the air this way. So take the air and blow it this, this direction across the card. It comes to this area and then you got these ducts to suck it upwards. Because if I suck the air this way, it's just gonna pull back here and sit in the back of this rack. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna shut this down, pull it out. We'll get it placed over here on our, our workbench table. I'm gonna set up a tripod and uh, we'll go ahead and get these 12 fans installed. Okay, so I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of the rig and what we have in it. So we have a Zotac 1080 amp. We have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition, a PNY 1080, an MSI Gaming X 1660 Ti, 1660 Ti, and 1660 Ti. Down below here, we have an ASUS 1060, a Gigabyte 1060, and one, two, three, four, EVGA 1060 six gig minis. Um, so if you guys remember when we first built this, just the other week actually, I didn't do any cable management in the back of this thing. I'm trying to spin it around as I talk to you. 
So there's no cable management back here. It's just kind of thrown together. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna clean this up with cable management uh, uh, with Velcro ties and zip ties to get this out of the way. And then what my thought is, is you see here, this frame's actually really nice. We have room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total fans right there. So we're gonna take eight fans and we're gonna blow the air this way across the, across all the cards and out of the rig. Um, so anyways, let me go ahead and get that done and I'll check back in a moment. Okay guys, everything came together pretty well there. Uh, it looks awesome. Um, I'm really excited for it. Um, so you only needed two screws per fan on the frame and that actually ended up lining up nicely. These aren't going anywhere, uh, which is great. I, I expected almost like four, you know, a bar maybe across the bottom there uh, for each of those, but not a big deal. It works out well. So now what we have is we have all these cables hanging down. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the shorter ones, of course, are from the top and the longer ones are from the bottom and these are three pin. So what I had, which I, I didn't get, I actually had to dig it up. Um, I did have one of these um, uh, fan splitters. Uh, this is a six to one. So this will work out well here uh, for plugging these all into and then going into a fan header on the motherboard. Uh, which is great uh, so this will work out nice this is actually a braided one um, so i'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in, in this um, what i need to do is pick up a one to eight or pick up two of these so i had to go dig this up out of all my cables here i only need one of these but i grabbed the second one just in case it didn't work so this is a one to three splitter so i'm going to have to split off of the one to six into one of these to handle a total of eight um, I need eight total uh, for our fans here. So what I'm gonna do after today's video is actually order um, so that I can hook it up to my power supply. I have to check with my power supply. Sometimes the um, Molex cables that you have, the PCI to Molex have a fan header um, or they have a Molex to the fan three or four pin. I'd rather power them off of like the power supply directly entirely and not off the motherboard. But if I need to, that's fine. But I feel like eight fans off of one motherboard port uh, header is too much, too much power. Somebody much more knowledgeable than me uh, in the comments is gonna tell me this. So please educate me, let me know. As I always say, I don't know everything. I'm learning just like you guys are. But what my thought is, is I, I need to come up with something more long-term after this video uh, to run this on all the time. So give me a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these wired up. It's gonna be a nightmare uh, to here and get everything plugged in. Uh, and then I also have to go ahead and look down and see like, what cables are gonna be banging, like like pushing into the fans and kind of uh, Velcro, Velcro them back out of the way. I did a little bit of cable management, but I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna wait until I get everything in place and then take a look. So now I have very minimal space to work with, uh, but we'll figure it out as we go. So I'll check back in a moment. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, my OCD is going a little crazy right now, but let's test it first before we go crazy with wiring. So um, we went ahead, yes, look at this, so many cables, uh, and we put it all together. We're gonna tuck it to the right 
of the CPU fan right now. Right now, guys, yes, these are a little loose here. We have to remember this is a mining rig, uh, but like you want it to look good too. But let's test it. Let's see what cables are running in. Let's make sure that all of our fans actually boot up and we don't have any issues here. So we're gonna go ahead, put some power into our power supply here. Uh, we're gonna turn it on. And now we just have to come over here to our power button. Check that out. Heck yeah. So now if I take a look down here, so it doesn't look like anything is pushing too crazy. I'm just watching, like, I just wanna look. It looks like the fans have a nice, so they have a cover on them. Like this one here is not actually touching the fan. It's just touching like this cover piece uh, in them uh, is what we're looking for. So yeah, the fans are the right way. We're not feeling any air blowing at us, which is good. Um, I am curious on how much power loss there is going from a chassis fan. I found a chassis fan right next to, so this is the, uh, um, the Azraq um, H110. So at the very end of this, between the CPU and there, there's actually a chassis fan like right down here. So I'm wondering how much power loss there is between a one to eight setup. Um, and how much, uh, how does that affect my CFM? You know, like, I think the box said, what did the box say? 56.3. Uh, so how much, uh, you know, of that is actually 56.3 now, or is that like 40 or 46 now because of splitting that a bazillion different ways? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, let me power this down. I'm going to take this, put this right back in the exact same position. We're going to go ahead and scatter these in the exact same spots. And then we're going to go ahead and do a comparison to go ahead and see. We're going to bring up Hive OS and we're going to let it run for maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to see, you know, are these fans effective enough to move, keep some airflow over the cards that I don't need to use this massive 5200 CFM fan blowing on that rig all the time. So give me a few minutes, we'll get it in place. We'll run our test for 15 minutes and then we'll come back. I did create a screenshot of Hive OS before and then we'll compare it side by side after and we'll see how we do. Okay guys, so it has been one hour since we've had this up mining. We thought that would be a good amount of time. Uh, our fan, 5200 built hard fan. By the way, if you guys are looking for these, I'll put a link down below in the description, um, but it's off. So let's take a look here. So our ambient temperature in the room right now is 84. Okay, so I, my lovely little drawing here. Okay, so the room was 88 at our previous calculations, and this is our picture of our, of our uh, rack. Bottom right was 96 and the middle was 97. Top right sitting on top of the Founders Edition 1080 was 127 and sitting on top of the 1660 was 108. So let's take a look here. So 96, we're now at 94. Okay, not really gonna be a big deal with the ambient temperature in the room dropping down about four degrees. So I'm gonna, that's a wash. 97 in the middle. 100 right there so uh not any better it's actually gone up there in the middle uh 108 in the top left and 93 so that's a big win there and 127 top right and 109 so definitely a big difference um on the top here versus on the bottom not not seeing a huge difference here but up top, we're definitely seeing a big difference. Now, that's what we're seeing with temperatures around the rig. Let's look at what the rig is reporting in Hive OS. So, uh, this was our before shot that we took. So, a 1660 Ti up to, or let's see, I'm sorry, a 1080. This was the Founders Edition, was reporting 73 degrees. The Founders Edition is now reporting 63 degrees. Wow. Uh, let's look at another problem child. 75 degrees was the 1080 PNY. Yep, 75. 1080 PNY, 63. Fantastic. Uh, let's look here. EVGA 1060 was reporting 74 degrees. 
1060 EVGA, 69 degrees. So we are seeing the most value actually at the cards at the top of the rack with these fans versus in the bottom. These around here aren't seeing as much of a difference, but up top here, definitely a huge, huge difference. Anyways, guys, wanted to give a huge shout out to AAA Wave. They actually provided the frame for this entire video uh, that we built previously. The uh, cooling fans, the Arctic cooling fans as well. So thank you very much for supporting me, AAA Wave. If you guys wanna get the, the frame, you guys are interested in the fans, I'll put links down below to them on the AAA Wave website. As well as we talked about, if you guys are looking for these uh, Govi, these things are awesome. I'll put these down below as well. Uh, I'll put the uh, fan splitters, the one to six or the one to eight. Uh, I'll put them down below as well. Everything that you guys saw today, I'll put down below just in case you guys wanna go ahead and pick them up. Well guys, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Until next time, take care.